Okay, so now we're going to take a look at a little bit of a different configuration of the warehouse. Uh, we're moving away from the directed put away. You heard me say a million times directed put away required or checked off. That basically forces the warehouse to have uh, require receive, require put away, require pick, require shipment. So what if we actually take away the directed um, put away? Um, so what we can do then is we can reduce the complexity. So we have right now, we have a PO uh, which creates a receipt uh, which <coughs> creates a put away for the product. And then on the other side, we have a pick uh, which goes to a shipment which goes to a sales order, right? So for a lot of people, they're going like, what, this is a lot. So whenever I create a PO, I have to initiate a receipt, and from the receipt, I have to do a put away, or when I post a receipt, and all of that. So what if we want to cut down this process? Well, we want to simplify it. I still want to do put aways, and I still want to do picks, but maybe I can collapse the whole receiving and the shipping into one. So that's what we do with these um, inventory picks and inventory putaways. Uh, so in the setup, we changed it a little bit. So we, we're going to create a south location in the, in the application. And in the south location, we're not going to have directed putaway checked off, just bin mandatory and picks and putaways. That's it. So what happens is that these two guys become one. They just become inventory putaway. PA. And so the PO is still here, uh, but inventory put away will actually not only put away the product, but also post the receipt once you post the put away. All in one. And on the same side over here, the pick becomes inventory pick, um, and it collapses the shipment and the pick. So when you pick and you post the pick, it posts the shipment as well. So it, and that's coming from the sales order. So this is a simplification. It's really nice. It actually cuts out a whole, you know, a whole segment. Now, if you need this segment here, the shipment and the receiving, then this is too simplified maybe. But if you don't, then this is clearly an option. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's take a look at the inventory picks and put aways. If I go into the location card, um, and I have actually created a south location here. And in the uh, warehouse setup, I have put in require put away and require pick and then bin mandatory. So it's important to have bin mandatory uh, because without that, you can actually skip the bins altogether. And it's, it's just going to be like a pick into a warehouse without bins. And then the default bin selection, I said last used bin. So it's it's basically just picking the one that you you previously used for that item. Um, so with this, we can go ahead and uh, get into a purchase order and create a new one. And basically, I want to go ahead and receive uh, the Enecta. Oops the Enecta coffee mug into the south location and let's say we have 100 um, and then I go ahead and release this and then create inventory put away so we're not doing the receipt like we did before we're going straight into inventory put away pick so we skip receipts we skip shipments uh, you're gonna see that in a minute so I create that I have both here checked Go ahead and uh, we have the inventory put away. So if I go into that, inventory put aways, here it is, it's created. Um, now the warehouse has this instruction to go ahead and put away the product. And it's suggesting to put it into storage two. I can go ahead and change that and maybe put it into storage one. Uh, and I can then say I'm going to handle 100, so putting all of them there. 
I can even put the vendor invoice number here and post the purchase order invoice. Uh, so when I go into posting, post, I can say receive an invoice and that invoice number has to be filled out, of course. But I'm going to just go ahead and receive, leave the PO open there. I have a million of them already, so it doesn't matter if I add one more. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a sales order and actually pick this out of the warehouse. Just show you the full circle on this one. Do want a datum corporation, get the coffee mug out of South. Let's say we're shipping 50. And we go ahead and release this and then go ahead and create the inventory pick. And it's exactly the same way as we did with the put away. Uh, inventory pick, like so. I have actually two here. Hmm. All right, so it's probably the new one. Yep, for 50. And now I can say where I'm actually picking it out of, which is nice. So it's, and I can take a bin contents list here and see you know, for this item, where do I have it? I actually have 200 in storage one and, and 100 in storage two. So let's say if I want to take it out of storage two, I just close this, put in storage two here. Say I'm going to take 50 and then go ahead and post. So now I posted it and it's out the door. So this is a much simpler uh, scenario and Notice that, uh, oops, I actually closed this out. Notice that the, uh, when I post the receiving, uh, post the uh, put away and post the pick, it's actually posting the receiving at the same time, which is important. And then the pick, it's, it's posting the shipment. So it, it's a much simpler process. It's kind of nice. Um, organizing is the way we do uh, the warehouse in a more simple way than with the whole shipment and receiving.